It's Jess. So welcome to part two of autistic hyposensitivity. So just to recap, sensory processing is how our nervous system receives, interprets, and then responds to sensory signals. And so hyposensitivity is when the sensory input has um, low effect on us or no effect on us. Uh, and we need more input to receive those actual sensory signals. Uh, and we'll have difficulty interpreting it and responding to it, or one or the other. So part two is about tactile hyposensitivity. So it can present as like a dulled sense of touch or like unaffected sense of touch. But the way that it presents in me is I have a high pain tolerance. So um, I have a big scar from, oh, I don't know if you can see it, from when I fell at work. And uh, I just, I was in the, ca uh, the cafe and I slipped on some flour because uh, Emily was baking and there was flour on the floor. So I slipped and fell and I banged my arm really hard against the um, baking tray that's made of metal. But I didn't realize that I hit it really hard because it just like, it, it, I didn't even notice that I hit my arm on something. I was just like dazed from falling over and I was like, oh, okay. Um, but it's not really like an adrenaline rush where you can't feel the pain until after the adrenaline rail is off. I just didn't even notice. And then uh, five minutes later, I, I like, oh, okay, that's a really big scrape and it's red and it's bleeding. Um, so like that kind of thing is very common. Uh, I also need very deep pressure. So if you like just touch me lightly, then like my brain like doesn't register it. Um, when I was in college, my boyfriend was like uh, rubbing my arm really lightly and I was like, stop doing that. <laughs> just like rub it hard, you know? And that felt nicer. Uh, I like to be squeezed if you hug me. Uh, you have to like hold my hand very tightly. Um, I also like deep pressure. And so I have a weighted blanket and I like it to be more weighted than uh, other people might. So that it's really, really heavy on me and that feels amazing. Also, if I'm sitting still for too long, then my, like, I just go numb. So like if I just hold my arm and just like set my arm on a desk and I try not, and I don't move my arm, like it feels like, not not like it falls asleep, but like after your arm is falling asleep and you're like lifted up and it's like completely limp and you can't even feel like that you're holding onto your arm, like that's what it feels like to me. If I'm just sitting for too long, then I feel like, this is probably, partly vestibular too, I think. I just feel like my body's floating off into space. And so like I go numb from like just sitting still. So that's why I'm constantly like moving around and stuff. And lots of my stims are like hitting against myself, uh, pressure, and um, very strong like tactile senses. Another thing is if someone's like tapping me on the shoulder, you have to like grab me and shake me really hard uh, or else like I just won't even realize that someone's tapping me on the shoulder. Um, so like that kind of like delayed reactions to things unless it's actually like pressured or like roughly like shaken or roughly rubbed that kind of thing. I find bruises and cuts on my body all the time and I'm like where did this come from? Because I don't feel it if I hit something or scrape myself against something at the time and then I only realized later that I did because of the evidence that it's on my body. Sometimes like interpreting light touches like it's not pleasant like if someone was to like rub their fingers in my like hair like really lightly usually I'm just like flinch because it just like sends shivers down my spine and it, like it does it it's not a pleasant sensation uh if someone was like scratching on my scalp or like pulling my hair scratching is really nice i just like like i just scratch really hard and it just like feels nice on my body so like i'll just be like completely like whatever temperature like i don't feel the temperature and then suddenly i'm burning up uh, or like I'll go outside in the cold weather and I'm just like, oh, it's not too bad. And like I don't slowly acclimate to the cold. I just suddenly it hits me and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's freezing. How did I suddenly get freezing cold? Um, and like sometimes I'll actually like I'll touch like somewhere on my body and I'm like, wow, my skin is really cold there. How have I not? Why am I not cold? Um, because like I can't feel like the slow increase until it hits a certain point and then it's really strong. And so that's what it feels like for me, but I'm sure that other people might have um, differences in how they perceive touch and stuff as well. So 
Uh, next week I'm going to be talking about visual hyposensitivity. Uh, so I'll see you guys next week. Oh, also, uh, in between this week's and next week's video, I'm also doing a bedroom tour video because I finally have my bedroom exactly how I want it. Um, and I've been trying to, like, get everything together for, um, like, a year. Yeah, uh, so just, like, slowly been integrating all my new stuff and moving out old stuff that I don't need. So, uh, you can look forward to that. Uh, I'll see you next week. I'll see you later this week. Bye.